Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, I actually got some requests to do some reviews on certain monsters. I think in the future, definitely, if you guys comment and tell me to review a monster, I'm going to put that on the top of my priority list. Um, and these videos are pretty easy to do. I can do them on the side while I'm farming, and my music is lagging. What the fuck? Okay, now it stopped lagging. Um, anyways, so, I got, I got a comment, um saying that I should probably review the the chest this 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 chest thingy right here um, and I'm actually gonna go go over all all the monsters thingy all the one stars all the two stars even the monsters that nobody cares about I'm gonna be reviewing them as eventually so every single monster in the game um, so yeah I can pretty much start anywhere I can go with any monsters that I want so we're gonna take a look at this fire chest um, in the beginning and I think for for these reviews, I'm pretty good. I'm gonna be pretty limited to looking at skills only. I can't really look at the stats because I don't really have like even the wiki doesn't have a recorded stat of someone who's six starred like a a mimic, you know. For for example, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the the mimic and what it can do. Um, so the fire one actually has a taunt skill, 20% taunt. This is actually really sad. I'm not gonna lie, 20% is very, very low. Um, and his his second skill is only a single target skill, it's only 60%. But the good thing about this monster is he does have a leader skill that you can use in dungeons. Um, it increases the recovery by 20 to 25% of all allies in dungeons. So I think if you get a variant version of him... Actually, wait, let me think about this. Well, we're gonna look at the other chests, see if they have much, like, a little bit better skills. Maybe worth using, then you can use them in dungeons. Uh, maybe for their leader skills. So this guy's a sapper. He has a 40% sap on first skill, and a 60% sap on his uh, second skill. But his second skill is only a single target skill. So it's basically a 60% chance to land a single target sap. Which is actually really sad. <laughs> actually, I, I have no idea. Um, Alright, I'm not I'm not sure if 1 stars are usable. There, there are some pretty good 2 stars, but the, the chances of this, the activation, is actually really, really low. In my opinion. Um, what else we got? Alright, so we got, we got attack down. Double attack down on the wood one. Um, and he has a 40-60. Actually, I think this is, this is not that bad. Like, 40% chance for attack down. And 60 for another attack down. He actually, actually, out of all the mimics, this one might be usable um, because there's not a lot of wood monsters with attack down. I can't, I can't remember which ones have them. I know the Leo has an AOE attack down, um, but not a lo lot of wood monsters have attack down. Not even single target attack downs. Oh wait, she does. Oh no, that's recovery down. Oh, but she has 60% attack down on first skill. Slightly not as good, but it's you know it's it's on first skill, not the second skill. Um, I don't think there's another two turn attack down, even a single target one, on any of the wood monsters. Oh yeah, Hana has attack down, but she only has a 60% chance to land, land it for one turn as well. Yeah, I think only the Leo has like a two turn, two turn attack down, 60% chance. No other monster has it. Oh, the Jin actually has it. Yeah, he has an 80% that lasts for one turn. So I guess, out of all the Mimics, this one's probably the best one. Because he has a 40% chance to attack down on his first kill. Which is a lot lower than the, the 4 stars, but you know, keep in mind he's a natural 1 star. And you're be you're comparing him to a 4 star. And, um, you know, not even a lot of the 3 stars. The only the, only the, um, the, this thingy. The July have have an attack down on their first skill and he has another attack down that's for two turns on his second skill so that's that's actually not not the worst um, and he does have a variant leader skill that works for for dungeons and you can pretty much get a very like get a variant version of him very easily I think there's a lot of the maps have um, have mimics and if you spawn a variant one you're basically sure to catch it so yeah there's that um, I don't think there's a light dark version if I remember correctly. Wait, what? I have to refill energy? No, never, never mind. Oh, there is actually a light dark version of the Mimics. I, I never knew this. I don't I don't even know how to get these. Oh, you gotta buy the light dark eggs to get them. 
Hey, wait, it might be... Wait, this just made me think of something. It might be worth it to buy light dark eggs to collect these monsters for the, the crystals. Like, the first time you see them, you know, those crystals. And then you can, like, make it a variant, and then you you make it, like, evil 3 for the crystals. So th this way you can convert gold into into uh, into gems, not crystals. Um, that might be a thing. That actually gave me, gave me some pretty good ideas. Um, recovery down... Recovery down's a lot weaker than, than attack down. Like, attack down's a pretty strong debuff, in my opinion. Not as good as, like, armor break, but it's still really, really useful because it makes pretty much everything hit for hit you for a lot less. So it's definitely, like, I think, I still think the wood one's better than the light one. Um, you know, although it's probably not as rare. There's gotta be a dark one, right? Alright, so the dark one has fatigue. Uh, fatigue basically makes it so the enemy can't gain, um, can't, can't gain blue soul. So when they hit you, they can't recharge their blue soul. Um... Yeah, fatigue's kind of useless as, as well, in my opinion. I think, I think the only one with useful debuffs is the is the wood one, and the water one. Like, it gets outclassed by a lot of other monsters. Um, there's a lot of other sappers in the game. Like, sap is not, not that rare. Like, you can basically like the the water miho, um, has sap. Who else has sap? The sea star has has better saps. Um, even some, I think even some two star monsters might have sap. Like this 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 goldfish thing. You know, I think this is, uh, actually this is a single target. Right, this goldfish probably doesn't have as good sap. But, you know, like, like the, 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 uh, Water Yuki, if you want to talk, talk four stars, um, has, has a better sap. And it's also the same element, so it gets outclassed by a lot of, um, a lot of monsters. But wood monsters don't really have, like, there aren't a lot of wood monsters that have attack down. So, this is a little, a little bit unique. So I think if out of all the mimics, um, the wood one's probably the best one in my opinion. And you can definitely use him early, like for for his variant skill, because the recovery in dungeon um, just helps you, you know, helps you stay alive and stuff. If you don't have a better leader skill, but you probably will. Like you know, I've, I've played already for for a little while and already got like a variant um, candling that I, I use. Um, so yeah, definitely. I mean, this is my free to play account, like. Um, but like I played on this for like an hour or so yesterday, and I already got like a variant three star that I can use. So it's, it's definitely not that hard to get a variant, but um, but he's definitely a usable monster if you if you're interested. Just just for interest sake, if you're like interested in just um, making a mimic for fun, I'd probably choose the wood one. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this review. I'll see you guys in the next review and or next video. Um, any any video. And if you guys like this video, be sure to like it. If you guys hated it, um, be sure to dislike it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.